Uh, somebody threw away this old school incubator. It's called a Bauer. And um, I brought it home and I cleaned out the mud diver nests and stuff. And I plug it in and see the little light comes on. So it is coming on and heating. I'm using my external temperature gauge with a wire with a probe and we'll stick it in there and see if it warms up. I saw online that you adjust the temperature by you loosen this up and turn this very little by little to adjust the temperature. Of course, you know, you want for egg incubation, you want it to be between like 97 and 101. I don't like going 101, that's a little too hot. Anyway, we'll come back, see if it works. I noticed that the light had turned off and on another video, I saw that if, when the light turns off, that means the heating element stops heating. Like it's, it says that it's at the proper temperature, so it stops. So I loosened up this wing nut a little bit and I turned this screw counterclockwise just a little bit until all of a sudden the light came on. So apparently we're gonna find out that turning this screw counterclockwise will adjust the thermostat to make it warmer inside. We we'll started off at 15 degrees Celsius and now it's up to 33 and the light went off again. We're looking for maybe 37 and a half to 38 degrees Celsius. So we're gonna do this, spin this again till the light comes on right there. And all right, I'm gonna leave it see if that 33 goes up to 37. Right. And that's where I want it. About 37 and a half to 38. 38 equals 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So. All right, so this is the old Brower old school incubator I found. Someone throw away. I've had it plugged in for about a day and I've been playing with the aluminum adjustment knob trying to get it just right. So that should be about 99.3 degrees Fahrenheit. The light came on so it's going to heat up just a little more. But anyway, I'm just going to try these five eggs. I've got uh, I think three chicken eggs. Mark, I want to see. And I got a couple duck eggs. Put them in there. Use a little pan for water to, uh, you know, make the humidity. All right, I'm gonna close it up, and I'll turn the eggs every day, and we'll come back and see if it works. It's been several days. The old style incubator still working. It's pretty cold outside, so it's sometimes it struggles to maintain the, the desirable temperature, but I just candled one of the eggs and there's a live embryo in there, so hope we have luck. It's been pretty cold here in Texas here lately, down around 36, 45 degrees, and so this old incubator has been running pretty hard trying to keep up. Right now it's a few degrees low, but the last time I candled the eggs, they were alive. So maybe it's working all right. It's got about five or six days to go. The weather's been pretty cold. This uh, temperature has been fluctuating quite a bit, going down to like 33, 31, 35. It just kicked on again. But I believe we had some success. Little black chick. I took uh, three of the eggs out yesterday because I candled them and they weren't even developing. These are still awake. No. Thought I saw it peeping. Anyway, this one is still possible, and this duck egg is alive, so we will wait and see. Anyway, 
I'll end it here. It is a success. Old school incubator. Anyway, click like and share it with other people that like incubators. And uh, don't forget to go outside.